Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And this is again my 5 minute sample test project. And in this sample project file I have some uh, supply, air system and one return air system. And later in the user interface you will see that I will give uh, user freedom to choose a system name, not system type. Uh, because you, you can have inside your project multiple systems and they can have same system type but because you want to check basically the pressure on the duct or on the pipe it is important to know the exact system name and of course if you want to see critical path in your system you can use a Revit native feature when you, when you click on some duct and go to system inspector and click on inspect, you can see here that these red arrows will show uh, our critical path. But as soon as you click on this cancel, you will exit in this view. And from that point, if you change something, either the size of the duct, pressure on some elements and so on, the critical path, uh, maybe it will change, but you will not see that change. And also you cannot say to Revit that you want to remember this view so you can send to some other designer or uh, to the client in, in some regular uh, drawing. And that is why I, I want to have that feature uh, to show the critical path in any view so I can use it later. Okay. Uh, so now if we run the script, the user interface is very simple. Uh, it will read the entire list of the system which you have inside the model. I don't have any pipes, any hydronic system uh, inside my model, but you can use this script also on the pipes. Uh, I will choose supply air, set value, and the Dynamo will find elements which belong to the critical pad and color them in the red color. Uh, you can see here that for the fittings, uh, the Dynamo did not perform override of the color and that is because uh, the fittings does not have that parameter uh, regarding the section and basically the script will check all those section numbers and the fittings does not have those section numbers but it is pretty clear which uh, root is a critical here so now if we play a little bit with this system and we say ok or we will have 35 Pascals, and we will run the script again. So now this is a critical path. Also, if you want to play with the speed, and for example, okay, let's switch the airflow here to be, for example, 1000 cubic meters per hour. And again, we will run the script. So, okay, now this is a critical route. Now you can use this color and do whatever you want with this view. It will stay there. Also, if we go to some other view, Again, we can run the script for the supplier or we can run the script for return air. And again, if we want to play a little bit with, with our system, run the script again. Now the, the critical route changed and that is pretty much it. I will now show you the script inside the Dynamo. So when I run the script, we can run the script for again for the return air. So first of all, in our input zone, we have this node which will read basically all the elements uh, for all our map systems. Over here, uh, we want to see the name of those mechanical systems and we will pass that to the drop down list from that list later in the user interface we can choose which system we want to use uh, it is important that once when you run the script you will color some elements 
inside your view, but when you change something and you want to run the script again, it is important to that before you color some other elements, you reset the color for the previously uh, override elements. And also you will pick up all the elements inside the active view. For those elements, you will read the system name. And now because we have like 113 elements inside the active view, uh, you need to group them based on uh, their value. So we did that. Uh, also, we did read the user input over here. The user choose return error. So now when we have all unique uh, keys and we have basically two groups, we want to check from the total list of groups uh, to compare that with the user input. Now we know that we need to choose a group at index one. Uh, for the elements from the active view, we want to read the section. And over here we have a very simple and small Python script, which will basically read our section numbers uh, for the critical path. Now we have the elements and the section number from active view. Over here we have section numbers for the critical path. We want to compare that, transpose, to find only the elements uh, which uh, are the same like in the elements in the critical path and later we want to color those elements and basically that is the entire script thank you for watching bye